This is the tutorial for question 5 from the 2012-2013 paper. So one researcher estimated two models. The models relate to how a student's um, performance measured as a grade point average GPA uh, can be explained by a number of um, other variables here including HS GPA, which is their high school grade point average. Uh, skipped is the number of lectures skipped per week. And campus uh, denotes whether the student lives on campus. One is yes, no, zero. Question A asks, Test the hypothesis that uh, H0 beta 2 equals 0 against the alternative beta 2 is less than 0 at the 1% significance level. So writing these hypotheses, we can see that this is a one-tailed test. And that we're asked to test at the 1% level. So if you remember in my lectures, I talked about uh, a recipe. This is where this recipe comes into, uh, into action. So we have formulated our hypotheses. We have set the uh, significance level there. And um, the next thing we will do is um, calculate our test statistic. Now test statistic, the formula will be beta 2 hat divided by the standard error of beta 2 hat. Beta 2 is um, is present in the first model. It relates to skipped. So the coefficient there from the first model is minus 0.88, sorry, 0.08, divided by 0.03, which is the standard error in brackets in the model. And that is roughly equal to minus 0.67. Now, we compare that to the critical value. This is given in the question to be 2.326. Note that this question does give the critical value, whereas in my lectures I've been explicit about uh, uh, you having to use tables. So make sure you know how to use T tables and F tables. Um, so we have these two values here. Um, and then we have our decisions. Well, since the minus uh, minus 2.67 is bigger in absolute terms than our critical value, it means that we can um, reject. And what does that mean in economics, in relation to this question? Well, it means that skipping lectures has a, a significant effect on your on the grade point average, specifically if this is this is negative. So skipping lectures has a negative. GPA significant at the one percent level, and uh, and just stop and think. Does that make sense? Yes, it does. So 
so I hope uh, nobody skipped any of my lectures. As we can see, there's evidence that uh, there are lower grade point averages. So, that is question A. Question B asks us to discriminate between the models. Looking at the models, we can see that the difference is is that the first model does not includes skipped and campus, whereas the second model doesn't. So our, hypothe our hypotheses are going to include the, the parameters beta two and beta three, specifically. Model one has them included, and model two excludes them from the model. So we could say then that our null hypothesis is that beta two equals beta three equals naught. And our alternative is that at least one of those uh, doesn't equal naught. So. Beta two equals naught, or and beta three equals naught. So that's question B. Question C asks us to perform the F test for the hypotheses that we. Uh, uh, wrote down in part B. So the first thing to note is um, the equation for an N standard Q. This is given in the question again. Um, I'd like to just ensure that, that you know that you need to know these formulas. And it's quite unlikely that they'll be given in the exams. Okay, so F equals the residual sum of squares for the restricted model minus the residual sum of squares for the unrestricted model divided by our um, restrictions and all divided by the residual sum of squares for the unrestricted model divided by degrees of freedom. N minus one minus k. So subbing this in, the residual sum of squares for the restricted model, the restricted model being model two, is given in the question to be sixteen point oh seven. This is the restricted model as we've restricted beta two and beta three to be equal to zero. The residual sum of squares for the unrestricted model is 14.63. The number of restrictions is 2, beta 2 and beta 3 equaling 0. And we can put the residual sum squares for the unrestricted divided by n minus one minus k. We are told in the question that n is 141. So that will be 141 minus one minus three. The number of parameters in the unrestricted model. Beta 1, beta 2, beta 3. And that's where that 3 comes from. Subbing all that in, calculating that through, we get um, 6.55 approximately. The critical value. Again, given in the question, but not necessarily in the future, 
is 4.61. That is at 1% level. Now, a decision rule is that since our statistic is bigger than 4.61, it means that we reject H naught. And what does that mean in terms of economics? Well, it means that both the parameter, uh, both the variables associated with beta two and beta three, which will be skipping lectures, and living on campus. To jointly affect the student's uh, college GPA, grade point average. Part D asks us to. Um, choose one of these models and then interpret the impact of a high school GPA on a college GPA. So our model has said that the, the richer model, oh sorry, our FSTAT has said that the richer model is more appropriate. So we should be using the first model, um, uh, equation six here. The coefficient of HSGPA is 0.46 in the first one. So beta 1 hat equals 0.46. And we give the usual interpretation uh, here. So you would say something like for every additional point in the HSGPA, the college GPA is expected to be not point or six points holding all other things constant. 